The most cost-effective public health measure is a vaccine. There's no doubt about that. But a vaccine may or not become available in the near future. Antibodies can protect individuals who are susceptible. We've discovered potent human monoclonal antibodies that block the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. This was discovered in the laboratory of Mitko Dimitrov, and what he does is he displays the antibodies on a different type of virus called a bacteriophage. And he has libraries, many gigantic libraries. These are 100 billion antibodies in a library. And what he does is he takes a protein like that S protein, and he pans as if he's panning for gold. He's using the S protein as a bait, and he pulls out the bacteriophage that binds with high affinity to that protein. And he does several rounds of that until he gets the tightest binding protein antibody on the surface of bacteriophage. And then within that bacteriophage, they have the genetic sequence that makes that antibody. And so they can take that sequence, put it into cells, human cells, and produce antibody. We envision two major uses. One is for treatment of people who already have COVID-19. And the idea is that the antibody will block the spread of the virus throughout the body. The other major use is to prevent infection. And some very susceptible populations include the elderly, healthcare workers, individuals who don't have normal immunity, and the idea would be to give a dose of antibody that lasts from weeks to months and protects them from infection. And those who are at risk of acquiring SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 could get those antibodies, which would help restore the workforce and get us back on the track to economic recovery.